Hello everyone, in today's session we are going to discuss about a very important relation which is included in your relation and functions chapter in class 12 that is your universal relation. Prior to this I have already discussed about the null or the void relation which you can check out in the description and today's session we are going to discuss about the second most important relation that is universal relation but prior to this let us again quickly revise what do you mean by a cartesian product of a set with itself so let us take for instance a particular set that is a which includes three elements that is a b and c now when we try to find out the cartesian product of a set with itself we have two sets but in our case both the sets will be same that is a and a and in the first case it will be known as domain and the second one will be known as codomain now how do you get the ordered pairs when we perform the Cartesian product of the set? Now the elements of the set, the first set that is the domain will pair up with individual elements of the second set. In this case it is itself. That means A will be pairing up with A, B and C which you can see in the first row. Similarly B will also be pairing up with A, B and C. I have not drawn the mapping here in order to avoid the confusion but you do get the idea. In this process we get the Cartesian product of the set with itself and how many ordered pairs we will get? in this process that will be we have three elements in the set a and three elements in the set a so eventually we'll end up getting nine ordered pairs all right now let us come back to the universal relation and discuss what do you mean by universal relation a universal relation or a full relation is a type of relation in which every element of a set is related to each other now if you just remember and those of you have watched the previous session you will understand that this is exactly the opposite definition of what we learned about the null or a void relation okay so in this case all the elements in our case suppose a b c are related to all the elements of itself okay so let us for instance the capital a is a b c so we'll have a relation where we'll have an ordered pair x comma y say suppose because we know that in a relation we have ordered pairs and say suppose the condition for this ordered pairs in this relation is that the modulus of the difference of any two elements is greater than or equal to zero then it will be a relation now if you closely observe you will see that this particular condition is satisfied by all the ordered pairs say for instance we had numbers instead of alphabets here you would have seen that the modulus of the difference of any two numbers in this set is greater than or equal to zero okay because we have a modulus so even if it is a negative sign we'll end up getting positive which will be greater than or equal to zero all right so here we can see that this particular relation includes all the ordered pairs of A cross A that is the Cartesian product of the set with itself and we can say that R is equal to A cross A. That means the relation is equal to the Cartesian product of the set with itself. Now if this is a situation then this will be known as the universal relation. Now, as I mentioned before it's very important to remember the universal relation is exactly the opposite of null relation or a void relation. Okay. So you remember that and this is the definition of universal relation. So this is the video guys. I hope you had an insight regarding what is universal relation. In case if you have any other doubts regarding this particular session or if you want to know about anything regarding mathematics, do feel free to comment in the comment section. I'll definitely try to address it and do check out the previous video and also the shorts that I've uploaded in our channel where you will be finding all the topics of relation and functions and most of the topics from vector algebra. Till we meet next time, God bless you and thank you all.